Not every dream is a prophetic dream. And that is because not every dream is from God. I believe it's time we talk about it. That not every dream has a prophetic message. I've seen people waste time trying to withdraw a prophetic message from a dream God did not give. There are about three types or different sources of dreams. Number one, dreams come from God. These are dreams that come from your spirit. It is important for me to state that God indeed does speak in uh, dreams, meaning when the night time comes, the night time is not just a time to rest, but a time to hear from God. Job 33 verse 14 and 15 declares that God speaks once here, twice, but man perceiveth it not. Verse 15 says, in a dream. There are enough scriptures in the Bible, actually more than enough scriptures in the Bible, to prove that God does speak in dreams. So dreams from God, we call them spiritual dreams. In most cases, whatever you see in a spiritual dream or in a dream from God is symbolic. The numbers are symbolic. The people are symbolic. The animals are symbolic. The colors are symbolic. Almost everything you see there is symbolic. And it's very important for you to have an interpretation because whenever God speaks in a dream, he speaks in a way that one will need to seek and to look for interpretation. And interpretation comes from God in this sense that you cannot use your mind to interpret spiritual things. You will need God through the Holy Spirit to actually give you a better interpretation or somebody that God himself uses in terms of interpretation or interpreting dreams. Number two, we then have dreams from yourself. These are dreams from your soul. These are dreams from your subconscious mind. We call them natural dreams. These dreams are not from God, but these dreams are from yourself. And you cannot try to come up with an interpretation to something that did not come from God. You cannot use God to give you a meaning or interpret, so to say, a dream he did not give. Let me break it down and please pay attention. Remember, your soul is divided into three. We have in your soul a mind. We have in your soul a will. We have in your soul emotions. So through your emotions, you act. Through your will, you choose. And through your mind, you think. Dream from yourself are dreams from your soul. I will give an example so you understand. There is nothing spiritual about these ones. Let's say you met a group of people during the day and started talking about whatever, business, career, ministry, whatever, it doesn't matter. And the same night you go to sleep and you start seeing the same people having the same conversation. These are dreams from your subconscious mind. They come because of the information that is in your subconscious mind. I'll give another example. Let's say you are watching a movie and the next thing you start seeing exactly what was happening in the movie before you slept. These are not spiritual dreams. These are dreams from yourself. They are natural dreams. There is nothing spiritual. So stop trying to interpret dreams that need no interpretation. I'll, I'll give another example. Let's say somebody hurt you and the next thing you start seeing them in your dreams. And you see more or less the same thing. And this dream is recurring, is recurring. It's because those dreams are from your soul. Remember, your soul has emotions, your soul has a will, and your soul has a mind. So your emotions are actually bringing that person up even in your dreams. And the opposite is true. Somebody makes you happy, you miss somebody. And the next thing you see them, 
with you next to calm, still water in, in the sea, in the beach. Life is good, holding hands in the mall. There is really nothing spiritual about that. In a sense of those dreams, they have no spiritual substance. And the third one here, because I couldn't wait to get to this one, are dreams from the enemy. Dreams from the enemy, we call them dreams motivated by your fleshly desires, desires of the flesh. And this was not supposed to be possible to a believer in Christ. This was not supposed to be possible to a child of God. These are dreams that the enemy hijacks. He, he uses something to get to you. That's why people who usually have these encounters of spiritual husbands, spiritual wives, we call them uh, spiritual spouses. Some call them incubus. Some call them succubus. It doesn't really matter what we call them. We know what we are talking about here, all of us. These dreams usually come to people because people have opened the door one way or the other for demonic influence. Remember, there are two doors or two gates to your spirit and to your soul. Number one is what we call the eye gates, right? These are gates to your soul, to your spirit, in case you did not know. Number two, we have the ear gates, right? So these are actually gates to your spirit and your soul. That's why it's important for you to watch what you listen to. It's important for you to watch what you watch because at the end of the day, whatever you listen to, whatever you watch, gains access to your spirit and your soul. You can just be chatting with somebody before you sleep about things that have nothing to do with God. And the next thing, the enemy uses that as a doorway to get to you in your dreams. And the next thing, you are having nightmares, you are having visitation from gobbly, and things are not just making sense uh, in your life. It is important that before you sleep, you pray. Before you rest, you pray. In that way, you will dismantle every plan of the enemy and every plan that the enemy has at that moment just before you sleep. And allow the Holy Spirit to always guide you, teach you, and to direct you. Because when God speaks in a dream, he speaks to warn, he speaks to guide, he speaks to impart. Because God is not a gossiper. He does not just speak to satisfy your curiosity. Whatever God shows you, it's either you are part of the problem or part of the solution. Christians and people who are born again are not supposed to have dreams from the enemy. Christians are supposed to have dreams from God.